Hello everyone people. Today in processing I have contacts with an Intel processor. Approximately 2001. A huge number of contacts from such processors. Now I need to dismantle these contacts from this processor and find out how many pieces I have here contacts. Now I will dismantle behind the scenes and show you. With the help of a burner, I dismantled the contacts simply by heating this back part. Since they are soldered, they all fell off. I have never seen these lids with crystals being recycled, so we will assume that we will have this amount of gold from the processors completely. Because I don't know. There is almost no gold here. But this solder certainly contains gold. There is some gilding here. And so we don't know if there is gold inside the lid or not. Right if anyone knows. So. Now let's see how many contacts we have in one processor. comes out at 1.998 grams. So now we need to merge. Such a quantity. Almost 50 grams. Yes, almost 50 grams. And here we have almost 2G, and it turns out here I have 25 pieces of processors. Yes, it turns out with 25 pieces of processors. This is the number of contacts. I'll prepare 50 milliliters of solder thinner. We need to remove the solder and extract the gold from here, which is dissolved in the solder. So I'm dumping here. And now I leave it for about an hour, let the solder be removed over time, the solution will darken. Here's what happened after an hour. This amount of gold stood out from the solder. And look what a black solution, now you need to rinse well. What happened to us? All contacts turned out without solder. Very chic. Solvent worked. Under magnification, you can see that there is no solder. And as a bonus, finely dispersed gold turned out to be such a black powder. Decently enough, the solder contains gold. Now it remains for us to wash off this gold from the contacts. To do this, I will use an alkaline reagent, which is the recipe that I gave on the channel, to wash the gold from here. The fastest way. I also have a channel on my channel, here I give a link to processing by the classical method. Here is the link from above. In the right corner. Processing of similar contacts, by a classical method. That is, by etching the base, this is a longer process. So now I'm pouring the whole glass. Now carefully pour the solution and see how we will change color. Here we will pour such a portion and see how it is washed off. Of course there is not much gold on them. A small amount of. Let's see how the wash will cope with such material. Well, I don't see it yet, I'll add more. I don't see that it's fast.
20 minutes passed and the gold washed off. There is nothing on the contact so now we merge. What happened? There's nothing. Some contacts are nickel-plated gold all in solution. Solution with sediment. I'm thinking of filtering. All is ready. I still don't think it's gold. If there were gold powder, you understand, it would dissolve in the wash. This is not gold. Pour out. Well, now it's a completely different matter. Here is such a solution to cement in general chic. Now we need to cement the gold from the alkaline solution. Naturally, no iron sulfate will help here because the solution is alkaline. So let's sprinkle some zinc. Now I'll turn on the stirrer. And now I sprinkle 2g of zinc in small portions. Very neat. This time the gold was cemented with just such black sole. Well, now let it settle. Then we will already etch the remaining zinc. To get gold. The solution with zinc settled carefully drain. Of course there are small stars, but what can you do? See what color the zinc has become. The gold is cemented and the zinc becomes so black. More like dark gray. Now you need to rinse the zinc residue well with water. Twice with upholding. That's it. Everything is now. I put it to settle and once again we will do one washing operation. When working with acids, wear protective gloves. We put on protective goggles. And let's get started, here the cementate has already warmed up. Zinc with gold, and now we need to transfer zinc into solution, the remainder will be gold. So I prepared nitric acid and add it in thin streams. It can be seen that these are grains of gold, but it turned out well, I think. By the way, look at what kind of gold precipitate after removing zinc. You see, nitric acid also coagulates a fine precipitate of gold. And this is such a good precipitate of gold after the removal of zinc. We also have some more solder gold left. I will now jointly dissolve these sediments. And let's see how much the result will be, but not bad. Anyway, these are already such results after washing. Now we need to transfer all this gold into solution. Royal Vodka Complex. Small, of course, hunting is bigger. So let's now I probably will do so. First, dissolve this sediment and then pour it there. I pour hydrochloric acid. I add a little nitric acid. And 
we heat up, the most important thing is to heat up. Yes, the gold precipitate instantly dissolves such a pure solution of gold. So now we put the gold from the solder and fill it with this solution. That's all. So here, too, everything was dissolved. I'll wash the glasses now. I'll pour it into one and then we'll do the restoration. The solutions were poured into such a large glass and pay attention to how large the volume is. This is due to the fact that when he began to dilute with water, precipitation climbed. Due to the fact that we still somehow get tin. And therefore, the gold from the solder solvent that glass needs to be processed somehow differently. But in the end, I filtered everything, we won't even extinguish it, because the solution is very diluted. When highly diluted with water, absolutely nothing needs to be extinguished. Well, if the solution is concentrated, you need to add urea. Here I prepared hydrochloric acid hydrazine and add it drop by drop, we look. What will be our reaction now? Well, of course it's beautiful. When it boils so hard the gold gathers very well. So, that's all. Now you need to boil the gold, everything will precipitate. By the way already noticed. Pieces gather around the edges of the glass. Well, now we can see. It might pop up now, I'll show you. Look out! A gold deposit has already surfaced. Look how red the foam is. This is already in the balance of gold, here. Here it is clearly visible. Here is such a bar of gold turned out. Small, but very heavy. Let's see how much. What happened? Here is the result. 0 0.37 is almost 0 0.36 then we take. 0 0.36 grams. This is obtained for 100 G of such contacts, all 0.72 grams of gold. 
and for 500 processors, and this turns out to be a kilogram of contacts, it comes out 7.2 G of gold. But a fairly normal material for processing. Especially in this way. Little costly I think. I also want to say that the content is not always the same as it happens that it is smaller. Before that, I processed I had 10 processors, the output was much less. That is, the content in them is also different, depending on the codes. Here is the review. Be sure friends, rate the video like or dislike. Good luck everyone, bye.